So if you think all gay people are going to hell if they act on their feelings, I would question you with this. There are 300 million people on this earth that are gay. And how many of them do you think are able to resist all those desires their whole life? I tried for 15 years, gay since the pastor here. I had a lot of motivation, a lot of tools was not able to do it. It almost killed me doing it for 15 years. There's probably 10 or 20% of people that are able to live that lifestyle of not doing anything, holding it all back. Then you think about it, would Jesus send 250 million people in all his compassion to hell that are just acting on their very base human urges that are almost impossible to ignore? When straight people can act on those same urges for the opposite gender and be just fine and go to heaven and have their monogamous life and all of that. And then you think about it, if he was gonna ask us to walk this incredibly hard journey, would he have mentioned it in his 33 years on earth? Would he have said, hey, you're gonna have a really hard battle, here are the tools for you. Don't you think he would have mentioned that once? And would he have left it to a disciple to say this when that disciple left weird context around the verse and also told women they should never be on stage and told people that if they get divorced and remarried, they're probably going to hell? I'm just saying there's some legitimate questions here.